Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading, and this is for my Leos. So if you're a Leo, sun, moon, or rising, something in this is for you. Now let's just see what's going on with you in general. You have the chariot in reverse, the eight of pentacles, the two of pentacles in reverse, and the double in reverse. I'll clarify those and then we'll get into what they mean. Chariot in reverse is clarified by the Ten of Swords in reverse. So somebody you've been in conflict with, this could be a person or like a group of people. Whatever the case is, it's starting to slow down and it's giving you a chance to actually have space to heal from it. Now, it's not necessarily over, but you definitely don't have to worry about it right now. Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Judgment card. They're just reminding you that karma is always at work and karma is always fair. So that goes both ways, whether it's something negative or something positive. So just... Rest assured that everybody is going to get exactly what they deserve and it's not something you need to take into your own hands whatsoever. Two of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Wands. Now that this situation is slowing down and you have more space, Spirit wants you to just think more about how you want the rest of your year to go. Or just the next 12 months in general. Whenever you happen to see this. How do you want it to go and are your current actions aligned with what's going to lead to that outcome? And that's going to be your title. And then you have the double in reverse and the king of swords in reverse. So there is this common theme with the readings today that people really need to work on their discernment. And spirit is saying that that's the same for you. So do something that's going to give you clarity. Whatever your moon sign is, it's going to be a hint as to what's going to help you get the clears. Let's see what your word of the week is. And you got humility. There's going to be something that you really need help with, but for whatever reason, you're not going to want to admit it. But Spirit is saying you literally won't be able to get through this or do this alone. And it is a test on are you able to be humble or are you still going to be too prideful? Because if you can't be humble, you can't move forward. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Something from your angels. We have your dreams need a practical plan, a fiery climax approaches, and a new romantic cycle begins. So your dreams need a practical plan and a fiery climax approaches. This is saying that you're going to happen to meet someone who's going to be a great resource to help you with whatever projects you're working on. But there's also going to be somebody else that offers you advice and they actually don't know what they're talking about. They're not trying to be malicious, but it is going to really set you back. So again, it's important for you to get clarity as soon as possible and make sure your discernment is up to par. And then, of course, if you are already in a romantic relationship, this wouldn't apply to you. But for Leos who are single, in the midst of you networking and finding out who this person is, you will also find the person that you'll be dating soon. So that might be something to look forward to. And we'll leave off with a message from your ancestors. What do they have to say to you? We got Star Mother, Protection, and Star Seed. So two questions. How can you mother yourself and what lights you up? 
So somewhere along the way, you kind of just got lost in mostly working or caught up in romance that you stopped really developing yourself. So this is asking you to get back to the basics and figure out who it is that you are and what type of people you're going to mesh with best because that's going to really help your discernment too. When you're not sure who you are and what exactly it is that you like, it's easy to just say yes to anybody who asks you out. Spirit's asking you to take it a little bit more serious and remind you that it's really important to protect your energy. Not everybody approaching you with any type of offer has your best interests at heart. So that's why it's important to have your discernment up there as well. Get clear. Get clear. But that's what I have for you guys today. If anything resonated, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I do go through the entire Zodiac at least once a week. So there's always going to be something for you. And if you have questions about anything I said or literally anything else, you can book a reading with me through the link in the description box. All right, y'all. Peace.